such a vibe. This is such a vibe. All right, I need, I need, a, I need a caffeine. Let's do that. Okay, please ignore the fact that I'm actually drinking instant coffee again. I have a very good reason for it and I will I will show you soon, but for now. Woo! Anyway, how are you doing? I'm 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 somewhere. I've gone back to the sea again because well <laughs> it has not been fun. It has not been fun, honestly. Yeah, the constant rain everywhere in like the kind of southwest just inland inland the rain is awful and the lakes are all infested with mosquitoes it wasn't just that one river i found that was infested all the bodies of water everywhere just like full of ah i'm only just recovering now i literally have bites everywhere still so i'm just like i've just come out of the itchy phase and now i'm just i'm just surviving you know Alrighty, I thought I'd sit here to tell you the tales and stories of my last few days and you can enjoy the sea whilst whilst we're doing this. Honestly, it's been quite dramatic. Let me take you, let me take you back. So this week I ended up sorting through my van again. It was more the food cupboards this time because there was like peanut butter everywhere. So that was really dramatic. I then went around this cute town, had a little look around. Um, it was very nice, very picturesque. And then I decided to go on a little hunt for a river to camp by because, as I'm saying, it's warm. And I love staying next to bodies of water. I think it's really nice to wake up and just look out and be like, wow, that is H2O. Okay, so I decided to go on this little mission in the rain through these fields because somebody had said that there was a nice parking spot there, so I was like, okay i want to go visit that no 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 so i was driving along these mud tracks in this field and there were just infinite puddles so i just braved them i went through all of them okay i splashed through all of them it was traumatic i almost i could feel the van lifting a bit going through one which was a new sensation for gloria but i really got so far down that i was like i don't want to not get to my parking space i've already gone this far i'm gonna keep going so i kept going and then i just there was this tiny little bridge and i just couldn't make it so i then went on a trek by foot to see if if i could get to this place and i ended up just walking a load of horse Horse shite infested waters in my sliders. It smells like horse shit everywhere and I'm just walking through it. So do I regret my decision of trying to be adventurous and finding a place by a lake? Absolutely. Did it give me a partial mental breakdown? Yes. Uh... Did I then decide to have a bit of a, a fit and just drive down to the beach? Absolutely. And I, <laughs> I don't regret it a bit because this is wonderful. Anyway, I want to go in this water because, oh my gosh, I have wanted to go in water for so long. And every time there's just mosquitoes or fast currents or scary things or little fish. And I, no, 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 no. So I found these rather tropical looking waters and I'm very excited. That was incredible. Thank you and good night. Okay, let's go.
<laughs> all right, let's get out of here. All right, I just need to now brush the salt out of my hair. It's very nice. Oh wait, actually I can have like salty beach hair. That might look cute actually. <laughs> all right, let's go. This is actually such a beautiful spot. I can't get over it. Oh my gosh, somebody's looking in my van. So I Alrighty, I'm gonna get changed. But like, there's loads of people have just turned up, and now I feel really weird. So we're just gonna skedaddle. Okay, we're coming through the cab like this because there is a scary person outside. sketchy car just like pulled up next to me for no reason and there was like a load of guys just sitting there looking at me so that was a really comfortable experience okay i'm gonna go and get a drink it is warm as bones and my hair, the sea salt is really doing bits right now so I'm quite happy about this. It's perfect and we escaped the scary people. Life's all brilliant. Life is... Thank you. Let's go. Bye Chichi. <laughs> All right, challenge of the day. Where are we going? Oh, Montpellier. Montpellier is like half an hour away. I don't know if I'm feeling that. There's a place called Latte. Maybe that's worth a visit. That is cute. Let's have a look. Let's Google it. Let's Google image it. Sorry. Sorry, Van. That was really quite awful. I regret that. Anyway, I've come to the suitable conclusion that we are going to go to Montpellier because apparently there's an Arc de Triomphe there. We need to go see this and we need to go shopping and I'm very excited because I haven't been in a town or city in like an actual town or city in an extreme amount of time for me and it's hurting me. So let's do this. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay. Oh my god, I dropped the coke! I dropped the coke! Like, it just, I screwed the lid on and it's dropped and it's like popped from the. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god! Why is there no one to stop? Ah! Let me show you what's just happened. Okay, so that liquid everywhere is coke. <sighs> Perfect. Okay, let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's very concerning to, to hear that. I also just crunched the gear. I never crunch a gear. Oh, Lord, I don't like driving a van. You know what? Maybe we should 
be in a city. I don't think so. <laughs> I forgot how much I hate being in cities in a van and that's why I don't come to them. Dude, you can park in the inside car park. Why are you taking the only space? No! Truly, car drivers will never understand the struggle. They have the whole underground systems to park in. I have about five things in the whole world that I can park in in my van. And they just take them. They take them and they take them and they take them and they don't care. And I'm just really sad. I'm fine. I'm literally, I'm so fine. This place is confusing as hell. Okay, go, 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 go. Get in the traffic, get in the traffic, get in the traffic. Alrighty. I have no idea where we are. Alright, let's go. Bye, Gloria. We just rode the escalator. There are so many people here right now. I genuinely can't function. I don't know, I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Guys, I literally forgotten that other people exist. Coming here is, my mind is blown. I, there are people my age, there are loads of people my age. And I didn't know, I thought I was the only one. Oh my life, I'm actually genuinely quite terrified right now which is the dumbest sentence I think I've ever said in my life. And I've said some pretty stupid shit. I really want to get a, a drink. Oh my God, whoa, there was so much going on. Whew. All right, lads, I'm, I had to come back, honestly. I didn't love the experience. I don't, I don't want to sound rude to anybody who lives in Montpellier, but I did not enjoy that experience at all. <laughs> It's not that it wasn't a nice place, it's like, I just felt, felt like I was gonna get stalked or robbed. I did literally never feel like that, so that's really weird. But equally that could have been me being really dramatic about being in a city with loads of people because I'm not used to that anymore. I'm used to my little quiet, quiet Mediterranean towns and, uh, well, places in the middle of nowhere, so... That was extremely stressful. It's fine, I'm not scarred at all. I'm fine, Li I'm fine. Really, I'm fine. Today's just been a, a day of safety, so. All right, let's fry some eggs because what else would I do when I'm parked on the side of a road in a city? Fry an egg. That's what. No, no, don't do this to me. run out of gas I've actually run out of gas <laughs> all right I think this is our sign to move okay great okay well that was a wonderful experience let's go I have found a parking space which I will probably not be able to park in about 20 minutes away so we're gonna do that okay driver door open why is the driver door i'm in the bus lane oh my god i need to get out of the city that didn't just happen This shall do. <gasps> my skirt has got coffee down it because I left coffee in my door. Wow, what a special, special day. I believe this is called coffee water. I believe this is called winning life. All right, let's go. Let's go. The beach is just here. Check out how cool this is. We are right next to the beach. 
Is it a beach? Let's go. You ready? She doesn't want to walk on the beautiful beach. She wants to walk on the shitty, shitty paths. And there's a mountain of a dog over there. Hey, boo. I found it, a human lab. That sounds ethical. I honestly don't really know where to go right now. I'm kind of thinking because my hob is broken, what I could do with going out for dinner. However, there doesn't really seem to be many places. So I don't know. Oh, I do have a, I do have a stove. Perfect. <laughs> love, love, love. Okay, we are in fact leaving because um, I don't want to stay here. <laughs> it's nice though, but um, I need to get Gigi chicken anyway because I can't boil it now because the stove gas has run out. And although I could do the simple thing, which would be in fact to get the new gas, um, I'm not going to do that because I'm not in the mood to one, chip my nails, although they have been chipped, but secondly, because I just, I actually can't be bothered. Let's cook oats. Yeah! <laughs> Ignore the mess. This is the chicken I have for her. Oh my gosh. We're eating. Success. Damn it. I was so hungry. I cried. Nutritious. I'm filling. Okay, Gigi, what have you done to your food? What have you done to your food? I put her remainder of chicken outside with my food to see if she'd eat it, and she has uh, buried it. So that, that's great. What are you going to do with that? Nothing. Cool. It's so nice here though. Look at that. And check out that sunset. Wow. Okay, so I don't actually know how to use this. I bought it ages ago. Uh, I think you were with me actually a while back and uh, I, haven't, I haven't used it yet. So this is going to be great. Ew, I can hear this pieces. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, I had to come inside because there are a lot of mosquitoes outside and I've been bitten everywhere again, so success. The oats are cooked. By some miracle, I actually have food this evening, so I'd like to thank me, myself, and I for that. I have cement paste for dinner, and the, the all the animals, you can hear all the creatures, they're all just making their noises, and it's very strange, but very delightful. I love listening to them. Oh, I can't wait to wake up. It's going to be so nice here. Okay, so I'm going to try and answer like three Instagram, YouTube, anything kind of messages, questions. I'm going to try and answer like three per video because you guys have a lot of questions and I just, yeah, it's just, it's kind of cool to share. Number one, how much does it cost to fill up a tank of gas or diesel in, um, over here? It costs like 150 euros per tank. And that lasts me a few days, maybe. Also, do I ever get scared whilst living on the road? Um, yes, I do get scared. Um, I'm just pretty ballsy. Don't really know where that's come from, but just I just do stuff. Um, but it's quite funny because recently I've kind of changed. Um, like I feel like I'm getting more scared recently. And it's not actually anything to do with van life, it's just, I feel like I care about myself more now than I did when I first started. I mean, I definitely care a lot about myself now, and I didn't care about myself when I first started van life, I just didn't, so. But yeah, so now I'm a bit more protective of myself, so I find myself getting a little bit more scared, a little easier, I think. But, 
um living in a van in itself per se is not scary it's not scary I, it's not just like sometimes it's a bit anxiety inducing if like people park right next to you or like this morning i was a little scared and then you know that was fine and then i went into the the montpellier i went into the the city and i was like i just didn't enjoy that one bit i was a little bit scared it kind of just depends really but living in a van is not scary i think in a way because i spent so much time making my van and then i've lived in it the whole time my van just means a lot to me and i spent so much time in it that like it is i feel very safe in it so maybe if you're just doing weekend trips and you just bought a van maybe maybe it's a bit different but i don't i don't know so no van life isn't scary but life is a little scary and you just have to kind of be ballsy <laughs> and van life tends to put you in situations where you have to be more ballsy than the average the average person and lastly how old is Gigi? Gigi is two she was two in february so she's a little baby still but she's growing up she's becoming better by the day so yeah um and i'm going to stay here tonight because by some miracle i haven't actually got any mosquitoes in here so we're pretty good all right good night i will see you in the morning I didn't sleep very well last night, so I'm not gonna lie. But it wasn't because I was here. It just, I don't know, I just didn't sleep. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I'm gonna spend the rest of today walking Gigi and going to a campsite. A little one around here somewhere because I really wanna wash my hair. You can see it's not, it's not looking the best. Um, so <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave you now, and um, I hope you have a great week, and um, yeah, thanks for watching as ever, and yeah, see you next week. <laughs>